Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to generate documentation for JavaScript using JSDoc. Basically, I have an example here from a project. This project has the index.js file where you need to put the at module tag with the, the, the name. You can name it as you wish. In this case, it's some class. Then the description tag so you can describe what it does. And you can also put some markdown inside. Here, I am trying to put this as bold as well as this sentence here and also making a list with the, um, with the dashes here and we are going to use a plugin that allows us to use the markdown inside the GS documentation and basically you have your methods and the description about them then you also have a file that is a, some file just an example so you can see that we can have multiple files. Of course, this is a silly example. Then I will teach you also how to use this in um, Oracle Jet uh, project as the one we did in the tutorials. I can use the, that one to, to put that. So you also have the utils folder with a simple file inside with some utility functions and the, the description and the parameters and so on. And basically what you need, you need to have the GS doc package installed. I'm going to open the terminal. I hope you guys can see everything. I zoomed in a lot so you can properly see the screen. And basically you, you need to install, I advise to install the GS doc globally. So npm install then dash g and GS doc. I already have it. And then we are going to use the doc-theme. So you need to install it as well. You can have the theme you wish. You just need to look for GS doc themes on the internet. After having that installed, we are ready to go. So as a start inside the package.json file, we have uh, our name, our version, and so on and so forth. And basically, we need our dev dependencies, the, that is the doc dash, and we are going to create a new script. Inside, uh, we are declaring the doc, so we are defining the name for the script. And basically, we will run the GS doc with some parameters, dash d, uh, meaning directory so our output will be the docs folder it will create it if it does not exist and then we are using the gsdocconf.json file to configure the gsdoc so it can uh, output what we want and the way we want with the layout and the theme we want and basically after having the, the docs uh, script here we just need to add the gs.config.json file where we have the configuration. You can download or get a base template from the internet and then here is where we define that we want to use markdown inside our documentation so you can have and use these bold tags and uh, dashes to build a list and so many other uh, options there. Then we inside the options property we define the template the doc dash we installed the destination folder you have it already so basically here we are already defining overriding this command but and just to make sure the default option so the theme the destination and if you want all the, um, the files inside then the source this is important so you want to exclude the node modules and include all the gs files and basically we are looking for every gs file inside the um, root folder of this file that is the source one this one so we are in the source, so the utils folder, the index.js and the some file.js will be found and also the readme and the readme will be the home page for GS documentation. OK, this is an um, example of a readme. Let me open it. OK, it's a dummy a readme here. 
and just with some random values. So you can see how to generate the, the home page for the GS documentation. And basically that's it. So you can have here folder by folder or simply state that I want everything. And the last thing you need to do is npm run and then the name of your script that is docs and it will generate the documentation as fast as you saw and then we have the docs folder i like to open it in the file explorers and then open the index html and you can see this is the readme with uh, some random values here it's the home page and then we have the modules with the name that you put here let me find it here so the name we have here the module tag it's what names the module here so the sum class when you press it you can see the description and you can see the bolt and the list and the bolt here as well and then the information about the um the methods the sum file as well with some functions and utility functions as well you can also filter and it will filter it and for that the configuration is down here so you have the doc dash configuration here inside the gs.config i forgot to mention it so basically you have the these options you can see more options on the doc dash um, documentation i leave that up to you but this is simply what you need to do this is it for today i hope you enjoyed the video i see you in the next tutorial